Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how Notion has completely changed my life. So I'm going to separate this video in two differentiated parts. The first one, I'm going to focus on how Notion has helped me be a more productive person. And the next one, I'm going to tell you how Notion has revolutionized my business. Because as you can tell by now, my full-time income now comes from things related to Notion. So, productivity. Notion has helped me immensely by creating systems and within those systems, I have been putting all my goals that I want for my life. So this has really made a great impact because now I actually know which are the goals in my life. Before I was using Todoist, for example, and I was just focusing on projects and tasks, but these were not giving me the right direction. So now on Notion, I feel that I can have those goals always on top of mine and work towards them. The second is that now I don't get stressed by the things that I need to do every day because Notion is like my mom tells me what I need to get done. So as you know from my other videos, I have a page in which I see everything that I need to get done in the very day. So I don't have to think, I just have to do. So this, as you can tell by now, is saving me quite a lot of time because I just have to schedule once every week and then off I go. I just follow what Notion tells me to do. Of course, Notion has also helped me to have more control over my time. Now that I have this needed perspective of everything that is going on in my life, my goals, my tasks, how long the tasks are gonna take, I can have a much better control on where I spend my time. And I can also make sure that all the tasks that I'm doing are bringing me closer to my goals. So I have calculated that on average, Notion is saving me around five hours every week compared to the way that I was working before even knowing that this app existed. If you're interested in knowing how I am achieving this, uh, you can find a link in the description of this video to join the Notion Academy. Uh, where I teach people how to use Notion with saving us time every week. Also, since I'm using Notion and since I've been watching August Bradley's YouTube channel or Marie Pauline and all these big Notion YouTubers, I've been also learning about systems thinking. I think this was something that I had innate within me, but I didn't really know what it was. So for me, it, it comes natural to start thinking about which is the input of a system and which is the output, which are all the steps. That, that we need to get done in the middle of the process. But I never thought that that was a thing and that there were actually people earning a living through creating systems. So, so for me, this was a superpower that I discovered in, in 2020 when I started with all of this. And that, that has made me go much deeper into understanding which is everything related about systems thinking. And that I'm also applying to creating these videos, to approaching my tasks and even my, my relationships with other people. And the last one for this productivity part is that Notion has substituted so many apps for me and even has saved me money because before I was paying for those apps. For example, I no longer use Evernote, which I've been a paid user for, I think, eight years around that. I was paying like four, four euros per month, I think. But well, if you compound that four euros per month over eight years, it's quite a lot of money. Let me calculate. Four by 12 by eight. Well, it's 384 euros and Notion is free. I have also stopped using Todoist, which was my task manager before, because now with Notion, I can have all this perspective that I was telling you about and I can have everything in one place. And it has also replaced Instapaper, which is an app to save articles from the internet to read later. So now I'm also using Notion's Web Clipper for storing internet articles into my system. So now let's talk about business. So since I have started working with Notion, I have also started to create content on YouTube. And because whenever I do something, I try to take it seriously and to really get the most out of it. I also joined the Part-Time YouTuber Academy, which is an online course by Ali Abdal, which is cohort based. So it was four weeks of intense YouTube training that has 
revolutionized the way that I that I approach this channel and I think it's one of the reasons why the channel is growing faster than the average rate that normal channels grow at. Also in that course I have met a lot of people that were very very helpful and that were at my same level or even in, in higher levels and that I could ask them whatever I needed or they would provide feedback to me so this has really been the, the catalyst of, of this channel's growth. Also, as I needed to promote my, my Notion course, because remember, in the beginning, I didn't have any audience. So I needed to find my audience to be able to earn a living with this thing called Notion and sell my course. So I joined Twitter. I've been a user since, I don't know, 2009, but I've never used it. I've never even understood it. But from 2020, I started taking it seriously because I saw the amazing community that is building around Twitter. On Twitter, you, you can find people always building businesses, building info businesses, uh, creating courses, uh, learning about marketing, about note taking, about like all my freak tribe is there and it's full of high achieving people. And to take it even more seriously, I started using Hype Fury, which is an app that allows me to schedule Twitter threads, to schedule tweets, to see statistics, to even plan Gumroad sales to sell my templates to automatically retweet some of my tweets, to gain exposure for the other side of the, of the world for different time zones. So it's, it's an amazing app and it's helping me to grow in Twitter much faster. So if you wanna check this app out, I will also leave in the description of this video a link to the app. Also, after creating my course, there were so many things that I needed to learn in order to sell it. So not just joining on Twitter and that is it. So those things made me realize that this was really a business. And so I started to learn about how to create landing pages. So for example, the first landing page that I created for, for the Notion Academy, it was quite bad and almost nobody bought. But now talking to people and sharing it with others, receiving feedback and everything, I'm making it a little bit better. I, I'm still not an expert, but I think it's good enough <laughs> for the product that I'm, that I'm selling. The next one is that I've also learned to create lead magnets because I really believe in email marketing. So right now I'm using Notion templates for that. So before all the templates that I was sharing with people, I didn't get any contact information from them. So, so this was purely altruistic, but let's remember, I'm building a Notion business around this, so I'm treating it as a business. So for me, Notion templates are an amazing lead magnet of potential customers that I can have for my Notion course. So right now I'm using MailChimp, which allows me to create a very fast landing page. And when people sign up to this page, I send them a link with all my templates, the paid templates and the free templates. And in this way, I have a way to even provide them with much more value than here on the YouTube channel every week because every Sunday I'm gonna be sending them an email, what I think is very valuable information. So like this, they can get more in touch with me. Another thing that I have learned is about Zapier integrations. Zapier is, if you don't know it, is an app that lets you automate everything and connecting different apps. So for example, I'm connecting a Gumroad, which is where I sell my templates with MailChimp. So whenever someone buys from Gumroad, Sabir in the middle is going to take the email of that person and send it back to my MailChimp account. But there is so many things that you can do with this app and I'm just scratching the surface. I think just 1% of the app I'm using. I also needed to learn to network online because with all this COVID thingy and also my business is online, I was forced to start talking to people and to hopping on, on random Zoom calls with people that I've never met from YouTube, from Twitter, from my online communities. So the first times it was a little bit scary because I didn't really know what to talk about with those people. But then I find that, I don't know, like people are very easy to talk to. I'm very, very friendly. So, and I found myself learning a lot from those conversations. And it's something that I wanna keep moving forward because the way I approach these conversations is that I try to provide them with as much value as possible. I even teach them how to use Notion. So they share their screen with me and I will teach them how to do things. And this costs nothing. This is just from, from the love of my heart. And because I, I really enjoy talking to, to people that are similar to me. So if you are one of those, just DM me on Twitter and, and, and let's have a chat, let's have a call.
And another thing that I've also learned is to get rid of the fear of asking for money. So I'm also doing Notion consulting. So for me, it was, and it is, it actually is, quite difficult to ask for the price I think I'm worth. So I remember the first Notion consultation that I did back in November, I charged 500 euros. And for me, that was a lot because it was my first client. And, and honestly, when I told him that number, I was so afraid that he was going to tell like, Danny, you are crazy. I mean, you are just starting, but he was okay. And, and in the end, in the end of, the, of our experience, he was even super grateful that I did the job that I did. So that started to open up this, this opportunity for me to, to really understand what I'm, what I'm worth. I still struggle so much whenever I'm, I'm quoting a, a new client, but it's something that slowly I'm, I think I'm fixing. Now, one of the biggest changes that Notion has bring to my life was that I finally ended my nine to five life because before I was working as an engineer in China in a smartphone company. So that is already in the past. And now I'm able to spend my full time being a, a YouTube and Notion creator. I'm building my course, doing all the updates, customer support and all of that. And for me, that is really a dream come true. I've always envisioned myself of being location independent and working online and helping people. And this is, and this is what, what I'm already doing. I cannot be more grateful for this because right now I'm, I'm currently living in, in Bali, Indonesia. And this for me is, is, a, is a dream come true. Now I just have to, to continue scaling the business and reaching more people and helping more people. So, so this lifestyle can actually be sustainable. In fact, last month on December 2020, it was the first month that I managed to earn more than I was spending. So for me, that was a tremendous milestone and I'm super, super grateful for everyone that made it, that made it possible. For, for you that you are watching this video, for the people that bought my templates, for the people that are inside of my course, my consultation clients, I am super grateful for, for all of you. And if you arrive to this part of the video, I'm even more than grateful for you because this is a personal video. I'm, I'm trying to provide some value, but this is a little bit of my story. So thank you so much for, for taking your time today. And I hope that you have an amazing rest of the day. As always, hasta la próxima.